it was October 19th, 2029, when they came. Nobody knew where they came from, or even what they wanted. They took everyone. We didn't know what to do. It was chaos. Our area got hit soon after, and I got separated from my wife Leslie and my daughter Rebecca. I had to find them. People were infected with this blue substance and were trying to infect others. Everyone was fleeing to the mountains. I decided to go search for my family there. Some say it's the end of the world. Some say it's the rapture. I say we fight back. That same evening, we were hit on the road and I lost consciousness. Hello and welcome to Road to Eden, a crafting survival game, so to speak. Basically, what the developer said is that we need to find the road to Eden. And if you can see up there, there's an alien invasion, as is in an intro. And we are stuck inside this walled area and we need to find a way to get out, as far as I can gather. And... Find that road to Eden, and obviously it's story based, it is either a single player, a co-op, or PvP, and I have, I think it's a sound, looks, when I set things up it was like a peer to peer, and I have passworded the server, just so I can do this review, oh there goes a deer, awesome, so we're just going to have a, a quick wander around, and see what we can un uncover, so Crafting is a big thing if we have a look out our inventory here. We've uh, got nothing at the moment equipment wise. Obviously we can put glasses and clothing equipment. Crafting, this is our crafting. So we've got lots of things to do. But which I can't understand if obviously crafting is a big element in a lot of survival games. But if we need to find a road to Eden, why are we building a base inside the alien zone? I don't know. So this is our sheet and we get XP skill cards will come up and different things and we've got a to, to do list I think that may be quest based so if we go and find stuff or whatever we need to find stuff oh there we go so we've got a new task added so we need to find something to eat so it's going to go through it basically looks like a tutorial a basic tutorial of um, what to do oh, wait. press E for the door and we've got nothing in there, that's a good start. Now this reminds me, first glance, I've got crude oil, um, seven days to die meets Miss Survival, maybe? It's, it's just the cars that make me think Miss Survival in terms of that, you know? So, and if they're, oh, Got a sleeping bag. It said on the load screen, if we have find a sleeping bag, we can use it as a spawn point. So we'll just have to make sure that does. Sleeping bag sets a spawn point, and it gives you strength of a hundred. So, as you can see, we've got the basic bars here: health, stamina, food, and water. That's basically all we really need at the moment. So it's pretty basic on there. It's not like scum where it's going to be like massively in death. That's ideal for me as a casual gamer so that's that's good to know but yes this is definitely looks like a love child of them two games did I say anus bush right we picked it up wherever it was so it was like we got a bit of, a bit of toxic mist coming in by the looks of it so I know there was a sign saying there but never follow signs follow signs you get yourself into trouble that's what I'm finding anyway. <laughs> that sounds like a helicopter. Oh, there's a helicopter there. Now, with us being in, you can f hear f fighting going on in the distance by the sounds of it. So, I wonder if it's the uh, GI Joes trying to uh, break down these walls and rescue us. Well, I don't know if you can send a helicopter over for a, s a supply drop. Why just can't they just drop down a rope? That pick us up end the game job sorted and hopefully I can find me daughter and my wife but that would be too easy and it doesn't look like it's going to drop anything 
It's going to drop a supply crate or not? It looks like there's a supply crate dropped on there. I'm just going to follow that for a minute. See if it does anything. I'm quite... I don't know if it's part of the scenery or... It's actually going to drop anything. I'm not sure. But it seems a bit bright. I may have to... I did mess around with the optimization, but I don't think it's sorted yet. Because that is very bright. No. Now it looks like we've landed on a plateau. It looks like this may be an ideal place to build build our base camp. And uh, oh, we'll just pick some corn so our task is done. But I'm still dubious. Nah, it's going too far away. So, to do list. We need to find some water. So we've got a hard hat there. I'm not that bothered. A trap. So we can actually go hunting. Is that a trap? Oh, there's one of the alien infected. That um, everybody loves to talk about. He's quite some size, isn't he? He's down. And if we're getting some 9mm rounds off him, so we can... It's nice to know that we can actually scavenge from the, the zombies. Or infected, or alien infected zombies. I don't know what I'm going to call them. But, um, looking at them there, I just might call them skinheads. Just for shits and giggles. But that helicopter's well out of the area. So it looks like we're knackered there. So we're just going to have a wander around. See what we can find. If I die, I die. And we may. There's a building down there. I may just like, you know, start a new one and then say bish bash bosh and just open it up and see if anybody joins us. See if we can get a bit of going. I don't know if there's any any voice comms or. And that's crawling on all fours there. Female one. And there's another two undead there. Three und oh sod that. But if you notice my stamina is absolutely taking a pound in here. So can we get round it? Can we nip in here? Anything so we can't lock ourselves in at anything. Not round here in anyway. Um we're on upstairs here. Can we lose them? A plastic box. So there's stuff to be had. So I would imagine that there would be um can we jump on there? Oh that hurt. That hurt. <laughs> right, so that looks like a is it a hanger? Of some description. These are steep. I've already taken a bit of a beating. So what's in here? Military stuff, I hope. Hope it's military stuff, but we can't seem to shake off these these um, aliens. They, they do seem I'm um, running out of stamina. Oh well, man, he's what? Not even thirty yet, man. He's fucking buff as fuck. <coughs> can I fucking run? No, stamina's out. <coughs> know what I mean? Fair enough, it was like if it was me, 48, and smoked 50 fags a day and, and fucking drank shit loads of alcohol. Yeah, I'd be knackered. But he does look a bit on the buff side. We have picked up a pistol and a clip. I thought we picked up a pistol. Oh, there it is there. Uh, we'll stick that on number three slot. Come on, we've got, a, got six bullets. And these don't look like they can be searched. I've got a box here though. Some wood planks. Now the females don't look that bad to take out actually. The males on the other hand, they are a lot, they are a lot bigger. Quivers, awesome. They are a lot bigger than males by the looks of it. And obviously I'm just saying there I've got 35 XP points. I've got 50 from the males, so I'm surmising obviously the males are going to be a lot bigger. A lot harder to take out. Huh? Well, I 
think that one's glitched. <laughs> I took a lot of bullets. He's getting back up. Nah. That is a... That is a bit of a piss take. And I've got a smidgen of health left. And I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Run, Forrest. This is the first time playing it, so... We'll just get the hell out of there, I think. So it's making us think that, obviously, that we need more resources before we even attempt to do any, like... Oh, right, and I'm fucked, I've got knee stamina here, I think I took the wrong option, and the thing is, it's like, it's third person, but it's a two, it's a first person type of viewpoint, because, oh, it's a building up there, can I, can I, that may be a safe haven. If I can get up there. If I can get up there. What knee strength at all. Nah, not letting us up there. Oh, somebody's made that. This is not going too well. Can we eat? We'll eat. Will that help us? What the hell was that noise? It sounded like it was coming from the walls. So I wonder if, like, that's the aliens. Or it could be morning prayer. I'm not sure. But either way, it was fucking annoying. So we're not doing too clever here whatsoever. Well it did say when I said like we shouldn't shouldn't go for the obvious and we're gonna go for the obvious. Radio tower is where civilization is apparently. But we have got no strength whatsoever. Let's keep doing that. I'm gonna eat some berries. And it's not helping at all. With our health, it's not looking good. I think we may die. Say, so, that's what I mean. I'm trying to look behind us, and every time I do, this is like turning us around. Things to do with this. What we got now? Whoop, dears. Find a hidden cave. We need to find something to drink first, if you don't mind, mate. Without going into fucking caves. So, oh, I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna have to attack him on, aren't I? Oh, I won. I wasn't expecting winning that battle. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I'm gonna get in this house here and see if I can find some goodies. Hold on. Oh, we have got electricity. Because that fridge is on. Sounds like another zombie. Uh, 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 oh. I had a feeling it's going to kill us. So, we'll respawn <laughs> and we'll try that again. Well, I said I lost some equipment with me death. So, we'll respawn when we're back up here. So, I better conserve my stamina. Because uh, this is getting serious. Like I don't condone hitting women, but if the blue and the don't look very appetizing in terms of attractiveness and the crawl on all fours, I think they deserve to get a bit of a kitten like. Right, 
here we are. Where did I die? Is it gonna give us is my body gonna be there? We'll take them berries. It was about here, wasn't it? Oh, there's a canned food I dropped, is it? No. Some dead stuff. Oh, all right. So, all right, we'll take it off. We're all back. I think. Did we lose anything? I'm not sure. We'll check these buildings. Like I say, I'm just going to have a quick check to see. So, all right. See there, you can, like, the light up. And it looks like a very... Survive the nice type of simulation on that. So that's, yeah, checking stuff like that. So we're getting a bit of a survive the nice feel here with the. Oh, we've got a, got a new jumper, boys. I say I want to. This is just like a, a run around review. So anyways, the quest is we've got to go. And grab, grab the we call it radio tower, wasn't it? I was going to bypass all this and see what's up with the radio tower, and uh, we'll just call it there. Like I say, it's work in progress. It's obviously early access. There's going to be a lot of work done from the dev. I believe there's, there's only one person that's doing the um, the development anyway. So, so far as I know, it's only the one. So I've heard through the grapevine, uh, reading into it. Uh, you can buy it on Steam for about £15 early access. It's about the general state of most games. I don't think, I think I'm £15 for this. I think I might appear a bit over the top, to be honest with you. I think around the ten, ten pound mark would have been a lot better. But I've got some experience here. Uh, <laughs> he's, on, he's like, in effect, oh no, fell on hold. Um, warning, restricted area. Unlawful to enter the permission from installation commander. And they look like military zombies. And I haven't got... We need a key. And with that to-do list came up, didn't it? I thought it was going to be find a key for the radio tower. Okay, so... That was a bit of a, a wild goose chase. So we need to find a key. What else was the to-do list? Find a hidden cave, find the key. We need something to drink, yes. So we'll have a quick look at the crafting here. So build a campfire. Pickaxe, stone axe, stake. Wood stick, we'll just need logs. So we can actually do bandages. Nice water, small spikes, rope, just the usual stuff. Handmade bandage, wicker roll, wicker chest. Very small wicker chest to store your items that may come in handy. Log beam. So that's so clothing. Right, so here's our way. small torch and whatnot. Skill cards. So I've got the seven percent for that. Recycling. Ha <laughs> I'm definitely got some stamina. I've definitely need a lot of stamina. So this is character level. So it looks like you get XP points for stuff that you do. Well, I think this is definitely more inclined for me to be more of a co-op based. And it'll be interesting to see what type of PvP it's going to introduce. It says it's there, but I may have a delve that in off camera and then uh, I might have a go. But if it's anything like finding weapons, Hope it's a, whoa, sugar. Hope I think I've just gone the wrong way. Hope it's a lot easier than than what I'm doing now because I'm finding jack shit. Then again, I'm not really looking at it, am I? That's 
looks steep. Can we go sideways? Ah! Oh, I took a bit of a hit there. Zombies aren't too well, they do, do take quite a bit of health off you, like. A bit annoying. So, so I'm trying to get. So we need to find many packs of some sort, I think. So we'll take that there. After. I think that makes. makes us rope. Click wooden sticks, anything like that. Don't even know why I'm doing it, to be honest with you. I'm going to start a new game. So we'll just run down here and see what there is. And why not? And why not? I say it's definitely giving me a Miss Survival vibe here. Without a shadow of a doubt. Cars and stuff like that. Now I wouldn't be surprised if we actually find some um, NCPs or... Because I say we are just playing single player. So they're going to put something in there other than just like zombies I suppose. We'll see what's up here. Uh, there we go. Talk the devil. Is he friendly? He's got a gun in his hand. Of course, he's not fucking friendly. He's now pointing the gun at us. Aye, right, he's shooting. Typical NCP. Missed. Well, they may be slightly clumsy. I hope. <laughs> but normally, the NCPs have a the radius bound so they're not like chases you know like the zonal hopefully the zonal so we're coming up to where looks like a gas station of some sort and that looks like a military van yep how many mil oh that's a lot of military and they all seem to be screaming over there. And did I have a gun? Did I fuck? Hold on. NCPs. <laughs> so I'm getting hit by NCP and I'm getting chased off fucking. Oh, are you going to shoot these zombies or what? No. Oh, is he? Is he shooting at me? Or should I shoot? I won't be shooting at the zombies. Ah, oh, he is. That's nice to know. Is he... Oh, that means I... Is he killing them? Let's have a look. Eyes oh, reload. He may die. If I can get these zombies over to him. Don't walk away, man. Shoot them, mate. Shoot them. Oh yeah, man. Go on, kill him, kill him. I'll take you one. You're the last one. Kill him. Oh, you goon. Right, I take the N NCPs are not zonal, but he has taken care of them. <laughs> Zombies for us. He's, he's still up. Come on, I'll knock you off. <laughs> Right, there must be some goodies around here for me. Ammo box. Awesome. Chemrays. Weapons case. Nothing. Empty. Shit. All them zombies for that. Now I daren't go down because that that bandit will be there won't he waiting for us I might as well just loot this shit up here duct tape more matches car battery so it looks like there's going to be be able to build a car then electrical wire Screws. K 
kitchen knife. Kitchen knife. So two kitchen knives there. We'll see that at number two. We've got a pistol but no ammo. Now the thing is, has, has that NCP buggered off yet? Because I would love to. But the zombies have been dropping stuff, haven't they? Sorry. <laughs> Here we go. Clean rags. Frag grenade. Box of shells. Them zombies is all dropped. Got a frag grenade though. <laughs> I thought it was a stroke of luck that um, NCP being there, like to take the alien infected out for us. Now it's time to repeat him. Bye. Giving a little shit a grenade. Cause after all he did shoot at us. So he wanted back up the top. Oh, I can't see him. Stones. Weapons case. Desert Eagle. Can we nick his tent? So basically, he wasn't. It's just a one. It just looks like a nomad, doesn't he? So look at this Desert Eagle. One bullet. So that's not going to kill him, is it? Where's that? I wonder where he's gone then. Let's go this way. Why have we got his desert eagle? <laughs> That's something I suppose. Zombie. Uh, uh, Kill the zombie. Uh, wow, I've got an idea that is closed. <laughs> Some size padlock on that, wasn't it? Uh, uh, Whoa. <laughs> Screws. Another weapon. Champion. That looks about it. Oh no, get in here. Yeah. <coughs> Someone's making a home. Now, if I actually my health's going up, if I actually survive this, I might actually just uh, keep this going. Especially if there's ammo in these boxes. Oh, come right. Oh, he's choking us. What knife? So much 
So much to explore. More rags, more rags. Nails. Plastic box, that noise is so aggravating. Been a find and a half. I would have explored everything because oh, my thirst is starting to get a hit. Brilliant. Not no more dog food. Needs must in there in, in a climate change as it is. What's that small bottle? I'm inside the cabinet, man. Idiot. Now we need to find a way to um, replenish. To replenish that uh, water. Because I haven't found a well of any sort. So can we go anywhere else? Well, I think that's about it. We've, I think we've um, pretty much explored what I wanted to explore. Like I say, it's to me it feels very um, mis survivally in terms of of how things is going. You know what I mean? Um, the crafting side of things. Obviously, want to delve into them later on when we start playing the game properly. Well, that's nice. Oh shit! I don't want to be one of them in that graveyard, so I want to run away. But where am I running to? <laughs> I don't know. There's two of them. That's the problem. But my stamina's enough. It is a bit annoying when I get just like it just stops for no particular reason. But like I say it's early access, it's all all to be expected. And now I'm out of juice. Getting tired. Doesn't look like they're following us. Looks looks can be deceiving. Yeah, looks like I'm fine. So if you want to see some more, we'll start afresh and we'll, do, we'll start actually do properly. Um, let us know. We're more than happy to uh, to continue doing a, a survival series on Road to Eden. And hopefully there'll be some awesome updates to come. So until the next time, thank you very much for watching. And stay safe.